People are making more money. They're finding better jobs. And after decades of being mistreated and paid too little, more and more American workers have real power now to get better wages and to do what's best for themselves and their families. Some people see that as a problem. We've had this discussion in the past. I don't. I see it as long overdue. So when you hear these numbers, they're not statistics. It's a statement of the type of economy we're fighting for. An economy, as I've been saying from the beginning, built from the bottom up and the middle out, not from the top down. When we do it that way, everybody does well. Everybody wins. Even though we created a record number of jobs, we know, I know, that this job is not finished. We need to do more to get prices under control. Putin's invasion of Ukraine has driven up gas prices and food prices all over the world. To help deal with that, yesterday I authorized the release of one million barrels per day for the next six months from our Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Acknowledge this by far is the largest release of our national reserves in our history. It is a wartime bridge, is the way I look at it, to increase our oil supply as we work with our oil, U.S. oil producers to ramp up their production to get us through this period. I've coordinated this release with partners and allies around the world. This morning, over 30 countries from across the world convened in an extraordinary meeting and agreed to the release of tens of millions of additional barrels of oil onto the market. Hundreds of hours of meetings with key allies, keeping them together, is paying off. Nations are coming together to deny Putin the ability to weaponize his energy resources against American families, not only American families, but families in Europe and around the world. I've also made it a priority to get America's fiscal house in order. Under my predecessor, the federal budget deficit went up every single year.